All right guys, so I just wanted to make a quick little video or tuning tip video Terminator X Max as you can see here. Um, how to change, these things are called channels here. The things that describe what's happening with your engine. For example, here is boost right here. Um, this is your idle air controller position, 70% battery volt 12.3, oil pressure minus two. Right now it's not running, so it says stall. We got our fuel pressure here, minus one. Air fuel ratio, initializing, it's not running, so that's not gonna be showing. Uh, I did run this car earlier, so that's why the coolant temperature is still 123F. Both fan 1 and fan 2 are both off right now. So you can change how this looks and what's displayed here. So I'll show you guys how to do that. Um, it's actually pretty simple. So what you have, to, as you can see here, we have dash 3, which we just, which we're just looking at. And dash 2 here, this, this kind of shows my transmission temperature and stuff like that. And I also put the boost gauge here too. Uh, I've also added a speedometer in miles per hour, which is really convenient. That's nice. Tells you what gear you're in. When you're in park, it always says gear one. Here's our line temperature, transmission, 102 degrees F. Lockup status, of course, now is off. Uh, here's pedal position right up here. And again, guys, these are all called channels. And we can change all this stuff to show what we want or what, what is uh, most informative to us in our particular application. So here's pedal position. So I'm gonna press the gas right now and you're gonna see this thing move. Okay, so right now it's zero. So you can see you can press it, it moves. And if we go right to the floor, 100%. So that's awesome. So there's our pedal position. That's the pedal position channel. So anyways, guys, this little video here, I'm just gonna show you how to set this up. Um, okay, so what you do is you press, let me just get my little pointer here. So dash setup right there. Which one do you wanna change stuff on? So we'll just do an example. We'll just go to uh, dash three. Then you hit OK. OK, so right here it says you can change the layout. So right now the current layout is layout number six. So that's where we have the big uh, window in the middle that followed by the same size windows all around it. That's what we have currently. So if you change layout, for example, you can you just press change layout and uh, that's the one that's currently there, the one that we have. So if we go to number four, for example, let's just go to number five. So number five has nine equally spaced squares if you want that or if that's what you need so we'll just go back to layout okay so we'll just we'll just do it for sake of argument so we'll press this guy or layout five yeah then hit okay current layout number five save so now if we go back to dash three you see now that big one in the middle is gone and we just have equally spaced the battery volts has moved over here fuel pressure is here boost is over here a manifold air temp right there Again, fan one, fan two, both off. Coolant temperature sensor, F122 still. So as you can see here, now we've just got nine squares versus the 10 before. So we'll just we'll just switch that back to number six. Okay, so we'll just go dash three again. Dash setup. Press dash three. Okay. Uh, change layout, we'll go back to the original version. Okay, we'll go to layout six. And again, that's that's the nine squares with the big one in the middle. Let's just see what dash seven, layout seven looks like, for example. So layout seven is just four of them. So we'll just go, we'll just, just for arguments, or actually, let's see. No, layout seven is nine. Layout three is four. So let's just see what happens if we do this one. Okay. Save. Okay, now we'll go back to dash three. You see now it's only got four things. Boost. Coolant temperature, fan one off, fan two off, four things. So if, if you only want to see four things, well, you can use that that option. But I prefer to see more stuff than that. So again, dash setup, dash three, okay. Change layout. And we'll just, we'll just go back to the original one, which was number six, right there. Again, that's the nine squares with the big one in the middle. Okay. Save. Now we'll have a look at it. Now it should be back to the original way it was. Yep, so now we've got, again, boost up here, idle air controller position right there, battery volts, oil pressure, RPM right here, manifold air temp in the middle, fuel pressure over here, air fuel ratio, coolant temperature sensor, 122 again, fan one and fan two are both off now. So we'll just leave that there, okay? So for example, now I'm just gonna walk you how to change what we see here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this manifold air temp, F, in the middle here it's good to, i don't need the rpm gauge here because i have the rpm gauge right here 
So that's why I put the manifold air temp right here, right in the middle. But what we're going to do for this uh, demonstration is we're going to change this back to the RPM gauge. Okay. So we just go here, dash three, dash setup. You click dash three again. That's the one we want to change. We want to put the RPM gauge in the middle instead of the mass, the manifold air temp. Okay. Change channel. So we go here. So right now, as you can see here, it's, it's flashing. Um, channel, manifold air temp. So you click that. And we said we want to put it back to RPM gauge, right? So let's just see. And you have to scroll through all these things here. Like it starts at number one and there's like basically over 100. So we're looking for uh, RPM gauge, I believe it. I'm not even sure where the heck it is, but we'll just go. If you, if you keep your pointer on here, like you just press it, it goes really fast. Okay, so it starts at number one. Oh, there it is, right there. So number, actually, yeah. So we want engine RPM. So that's so. Just remember these these choices here. So two is engine RPM. So we're gonna click that guy. Hit OK. And then now it says select gauge digital small. So we can have digit showing our our RPM. Round tiny light bulb tiny light bulb small. I'm not even sure what the light bulb is, but. Uh, Maybe we'll have a look at that. Round, medium, round, 90 degree, light bulb, medium. So we'll just, I just want to see out of curiosity what this light bulb is. So we'll go light bulb, small. Okay. Now, see, now it says RPM in the middle instead of the manifold air temp as it did before, because we changed it. So you hit okay, and then you go save. So we'll go to dash three again. Oh, interesting. So that's what it looks like. That's a light bulb. So let's just see if we start this, what, what, what happens. What the hell? Oh, okay, so it's green RPM, and it just shows RPM underneath, okay. Good enough. Okay, so I'm not sure if I like that, so we're just going to uh, change that here. Hang on. Okay, so we'll just go back and show you. Interesting. Okay, so that's light bulb. So light bulb is either green or probably or red. So then for the RPM gauge, it was green or red. Green means it's running, and then you have the RPM, whatever RPM it's down here. So we're going to change that to uh, to the gauge, for example, because that's a little easier to read. Let's see here. So dash that up again. Dash three. Okay. Change channels. Yes. And we're going to go back to the channel RPM. That's the what we want. Select number two, because that's engine RPM right there. Okay. Uh, and we want to have, uh, we don't want the light bulb, round, tiny, digital, small. We want, uh, for example, we'll just go round, medium. So that's that, and it shows your preview down here, like an RPM gauge. So let's see. Yeah, so light bulb is either just on or off. So we'll just go to round 90 degree. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, so round 90 degree just shows a picture here. And basically, it's a round gauge with a 90 degree sweep. Now, the round medium, right there, okay, it's the same picture. So, anyway, we'll choose the round medium, okay? Okay, save. So, now if we go back to dash three, now we have the big round gauge. You see that? So, just for demonstration purpose, I'm going to go to the round 90 degree, and it's probably just a sweep. This looks like it's a, hundred, uh, it's a 270 degree sweep. From zero to ten thousand. So if we go now and dash that up, dash three, okay, and we'll go to change channels. So right now it's the round medium gauge. Click that guy, engine RPM, yes, okay. And if you go to round ninety degree, let's see what that looks like. Okay, okay, save. And we'll go to dash three to verify. Okay, so actually, that's actually pretty good too. So this one starts at zero, goes to 10,000. Let's just see what it looks like when it runs. We'll just run the sucker for a second. Let me just open up the garage door. We don't want to get fumigated. <laughs> okay, so there it is right there. Pretty cool. The bolts are good, oil pressure is good, RPM. I kind of like the round one better, so we'll just we'll just turn that back. We'll go back to that guy. 
Okay. So. Okay, so we'll just get rid of this. Dash three. Oh. Dash setup. Dash three. Okay. Change channel. Okay, so now we'll go to the middle one again. Engine RPM. Okay. Uh, round medium. Yep. I like that one better. Okay. Okay. Save. Let's have a look. Yep. There's our round RPM gauge. So that's good. And again, battery volt oil pressure, fuel pressure, boost. So all the most important things we can see here on this screen. So anyways, I'm going to put this RPM gauge back to my manifold air temp because I have the RPM gauge right here. So we'll do that right now. Dash three, oh, dash setup, dash three, okay, change channel, middle one, uh, so then you scroll through. The only thing that kind of sucks is you have to remember these numbers where they are, because I don't even remember where that uh, manifold air temperature is, manifold air pressure. Throttle position, map, fuel flow, fuel economy. Uh, so again, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. Fuel flow. Ignition timing, launch retard. Estimated VE. Manifold absolute pressure, MAP. We've got that already. Throttle position. Manifold air temp, so that's the one we want. Oh, right there, MAT. So we click OK. Uh, we want uh, round. We're just going to go digital, just to give it, just gives us numbers. OK. OK. Save. And I will verify. Yeah, there's our manifold air temp, 95 degrees F right now. So there we go guys, that's uh, just a quick little tuning tip how to change what you see on your Terminator X Max 3.5. So hopefully this uh, this little video has helped. And, uh, and again, thanks for watching and thanks for your continued support. Uh, Till next uh, tuning tip, when we get this thing on the road we can do a little bit of testing. Thanks a lot guys, appreciate it.